I would like to issue a formal apology to each and every one of you who has tuned into Be A Pro all year long. Over the course of this series, there's been a promise that I simply have not kept. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I'm appalled by my actions, but I have to come forth and set the record straight. In my first episode with the Columbus Blue Jackets, I set my special celebration to the sniper animation. It's brand new. I've never seen it before. Every single episode, whether it be the first goal of Rusty's career, the Michigan goal, and everything in between, you guys have asked, where is Rusty's special celebration? Today, that changes. This man right here, Rostislav Nasrov, is not only scoring a goal, but we are hitting the sniper celebration. This is a guarantee. I don't know what it is. I just get into the zone. I score a nasty goal. I start spamming the A button. I start spamming RB. But today, that changes. All right, one goal, one button. We are making it happen. Now, I will say it's not going to be easy. In today's matchup, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets taking on the 2-0 Detroit Red Wings. Taking a look at the league standings here, the Wings are currently in sixth place. They also only have two goals again. So we really need to add to that total today. If we want to hit the Selly, we have to score a goal. <laughs> Wish me luck. Before we get into the biggest battle of Rusty's career, I do need to mention a shout out to our sponsor, the Columbus Heat Merch Store. Get your merch while you can. We have this beautiful hat, shirts, shorts, and customized jerseys only available for a few more days. So click the link in the description below. Wings versus Jackets. We are hitting that celebration. Let's get into it. Here we go, boys. We are back at home, back at Nationwide Arena. These fans want to see Rusty's magical celebration for once and for all. Now, I'm aware this celebration cannot live up to the hype that we've been giving it. it I haven't even meant to be building up his hype. At this point, I just want to see what it looks like and experience it firsthand. Okay, boys. Hey! That's goal number three against all year long for the Detroit Red Wings. And it is our first line finally getting the job done. Hey, my dream is to someday be between Johnny Hockey and Patrick Laine. I think in terms of this game and the skill set that they have, that's a perfect... Hold on. Little spin-up. Cross check? Can I get a slow-mo replay of that cross check to the back as a mid-spin move? What is that? Oh, and then he's just going to come down and... What a save! Okay, I've got to get it into my mind now. If I score a goal, when I score a goal, I am going to hit the Y button. That is all we have to think about today. Now, of course, before we do that, we need to score a goal, which may be more difficult than we think. All right, hey, I don't know what's going on with this first line. Johnny Hockey has buried goal number two, and we are up two to zero. Big tie up here from Jack. Hey, we need to draw something. Two zero, though, for the boys. What a start this is. I'm going to go for a little skate. Yep, Wierenski. Oh, unnecessary deep, but you know what? I kind of respect it. Yep, deep. Oh, my Go! This team is back. Let's go. We didn't touch the puck in the offensive zone, but when we finally did, the puck finds the back of the net. A weird move from Moransky at the blue line finds Rusty Stick. We feed it over to Marchenko, and just like that, a 3-0 game. I, I, I don't know what is happening right now. Firing it low. Great shot. Great shot. Feed me again, Jack. Tips. Oh, I'm there for the tips. I'm, I'm battling in front of the net. <laughs> when the shot comes, we get no tip whatsoever on it. Hit leaders. Look at Rostislav Nastrov leading the charge. 14 total hits in two games. Again, I'm going to try to try to find that short side. We do have pressure here too. Man, every single time we get pressure, instantly it's out of the zone. Like there's just no doubt. I'm getting this weird feeling that like midway through the second period, this game is going to be tied. I don't know what it is that's telling me that. You guys know how this game goes though. You start to feel the script a little bit. That's just the vibe I'm getting. Now I'm going to try to prevent that from happening, but you know how it goes. Okay, we're back on the ice here. It's, it's time to get a little offense going here, boys. Yep. Beautiful. I'm going to just, I'm ripping this low. That's, that's fine with me. Pressure bar is almost full. We get pressure bar full, and then, we're, boom, we're sitting at the... <gasps> oh, he actually tried to find me. We would have had a quick break. Okay, no more spin moves for me. Yep. Oh, ref! How is that not interference? Also, what was that dive out of Rusty? Dude, I was, like, on my feet. I battled through four hits, and then out of nowhere. You know what? We're done. Oh, I was going to dump it, but hold up. I'm going to shoot it low. Boys, Superstar is impossible. I cannot even move out here. No goals against. Boys, what is happening? It is a 4-0 hockey game. Never in my life did I expect this from the Columbus Blue Jackets. But we know this game is not over here, boys. I nice save there, Elvis. Let's throw that puck out. Big hit there, Rusty. Big hit. 
And just like that, man, just like that, the game's back. You could tell something bad was coming. Obviously, I laid a couple big hits. It wasn't enough. They got those passes off quick. And ADB with his first goal of the season. Ugh. Four goals and Rusty has not scored one of them. This is just, this is just. <laughs> what a hit, Rusty. I'm going to start to line up ADB. ADB is the only one on this team that can score goals. And I'm telling you what, he's not going to. What was that delay on the rebound? I mean, I should have sniped it. Don't get me wrong. I should have sniped it. That delay, though, he could have easily buried that one. We'll see if our prediction's correct. See if this game ends up being tied at, like, the midway mark of the second period. I'm telling... Okay, got a little bit nervous there. ADB just scored another one. That is his second goal of the day. Rostislav, we're in control. Don't let your foot off the pedals. Let's not get too fancy. I'm getting, coach, I am getting another goal right now. All right, I need to hit this celebration. All the fans in the stands, they're here for me, coach. A lot of goals happening this game. Just not a lot while we are on the ice, unfortunately. And that's, I mean, that's just how it's going to go sometimes. You know, we can't be the ones out there backpacking this team to the Stanley Cup finals each and every It's, it's happening. It's hap You can feel it in the air. It's happening. Dude, I was on a crazy back trick there for like from the red line, V-lining to this guy. And I poked it and I think I just missed it to the right side. It was so close. All right, 5-3, boys. This game, this game is not over. This game's not over. Oh, what a save, Elvis. Dude, also, why am I the last man back every single time? I'm the one on the back check. I'm the one clearing the front of the net. I'm not even a center. Like, Jack, get to the front of the net, buddy. Started out so promising, and it is just, it's, it's so, I'm just down right now. Like, it feels like at any moment, another goal is going into the back of the net, and we're going OT or something. Like, we got to act like this is the Stanley Cup. Let's go, Jack. I'm, I'm just playing center at this point. I don't know what Jack Rostovic's doing. He's looking me off. He's not looking me off. Get it! Okay, I'm covering the middle here. I see Larkin trying to trying to cut to the inside. I'm going to stay out here just for a second longer so we can be with Line and Kent Johnson. I want to have a little bit of skill out here. Yep. Okay, a little bit of a bump. I'm getting off the ice. All right. Nice and smart. Nice and smart. I know I took too long of a shift there, but it's okay. I'm going to... Jack, Jack, go, da go back down. Dude, I'm... I don't, I do not know what to do. I want Jack Roslovic to play center. I tried to like go up there and make sure that he swapped out for me and we're just lost in outer space. It is a, it is a one goal hockey game. I cannot believe my eyes. Okay. All I can control is myself. I am going to stay on my point. Like my life depends on it. Jack Roslovic, you better play center. All right. I'm sitting up here. Look at Jack Roslovic right now. He is playing right point. No more goals against boys. We have our lead still. We have our lead still. Oh, this is getting ugly, boys. Oh, big hit. Ew. Wait, what, what just happened? I mean, that's a big clean hit. Honestly, it looked like I hit him from behind and I could have been suspended for the rest of the season. But thankfully, the refs have decided against that call. We're going to freeze this puck up, dude. What is going on now? Four minutes left in the second period. I know line... Okay, we're going to get a little, hey, little power play time here for Rusty. We still need our first goal of the game. Oh, I forgot to mention in the last episode, there was a moment where I don't know what happened. We had six players on the ice. There was no delayed penalty. Our goalie was not pulled out of nowhere. We got away with six players out there. Uh, we got to roll that back. I want to see it, the replay. I saw a lot of comments down below that were talking about it. I did not notice it in real time at all. So you guys, you've got a good eye. I don't know what happened. The refs let us get away with one hopefully we'll try it again in this game we got a little bit of wheels we do not have any wheels we're 67 overall this might be the slowest skater that i have ever seen in the national hockey i'll shoot that all day long i know it's not ugly but it gets the job done and just like that coach pulls us from the ice i was even i was lined up there at the right wing ready for my booming one t heading into the third period i told you guys in the first it was going to be a close game i did not expect it to be quite like this but uh we got one period of hockey left to score a goal to make the celebration happen and to get this victory okay back on the ice i just want to i want to know what it feels like to be in the offensive zone Good shot. I don't mind that. Treating it like the Stanley Cup. No doubt about it. What a pass. Okay, we got a little one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to try to walk right into the deke. The thing about having like 60 deking is you have to think of this deke before like the opportunity is even there. You almost have to commit to it like at the red line because if you wait too long, the delay is so heavy, you're going to miss the deke no matter what. Nothing there. Great poke. We're going to go for one last rush and then I'm going to get off the ice a little bit early. Line A is out here with me. I'm going to try to get it over to him. Okay, or we'll go to Kent Johnson. Boom. Perfect. Line A, find me. Behind the net. 
I'm getting destroyed. 10 minutes left here in the third period. If we go this whole episode with our goal being to score a goal and hit the celly without even having so much tips, tips, I shot it right in his chest, man. The whole right side was wide open. Nice hit there, Rusty. We're making up for it. We clear that puck around. What a play from Rusty. We make mistakes, but we get right back on our feet. <gasps> Little spin Oh, <Ew>! Rusty! <gasps> ah! One button! Go down! Boom! Let's go, boys! Rusty with a nasty spin move. We hit the button. We hit the celly. I'm not gonna lie. The celly was uh, a little underwhelming after all the buildup. But you guys, I told you I was gonna do it. And what do we do? 10 minutes left. The goal to put us up by two to potentially secure the victory. And Rusty gets it done. Roll the slow-mo replay of Rusty hitting the sniper celly for the first time. You have just witnessed history. And look at Rusty. Sitting in, what is up with the blue jackets? Three of the top four league leaders in points. Holy. I mean, I guess that is what happens when you get six. This game's not over, is it? This game is not over. All right, I don't mind dumping Chase Hockey at this point. I'm going to go for a booming hit, though. Okay, I've I tried to go for a booming hit, and I can barely even bump Cider off the puck. Oh, no. Oh, no. What just? What a save, Elvis. Let's go again. One last rush. I'm going to avoid getting bodied. Yep, right to Jack. I'm going right to the net. You fire that low. We get a rebound. Tip. Bang. Honestly, that was, I mean, that's all I can ask for. I'm getting off the ice, so I've got no energy left. We'll have one last, one last shift to end this game. Six minutes and 48 seconds. Give us no goals against here. Let us go out there and just. Rusty doesn't touch the ice for the last six minutes of the game. And two goals go into the back of our net. Just like that, it is 6-6 heading into overtime. What is going on, dude? Coach, I just scored the most demoralizing goal of the entire year. And this is how you repay me. There is no way. I, I thought the game was over. I, I thought we had done our job. We put in the work. We're going to lose this game. Okay. I mean, the boys are just getting there. They're getting tumbled around out here. This is ugly. Okay. Rusty's out. Rusty's out. Here we go. Throw that puck out. I'm going to stay a little bit back. Just try to be a little bit smarter. Kent Johnson's been on the ice for two minutes. He has absolutely no wheels left. And we're up against Dylan Larkin, who thankfully pulled himself offside. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm watching the guy back door. Got to stick on that. What a play from Rusty. And we're gone the other way. Jack. I'm going right to the net, buddy. You find me. You find. Where's he going? Go ahead. Go ahead. Where's he? How does that not go in? I'm just getting tumbled around out here, boys. I'm getting tumbled around. Rusty's putting in work, though. We're going to get off the ice before something bad happens, and our our game is probably done. I don't think we're going to go in the shootout, even if we do have the... What a save. Well, another breakaway. Okay, our third breakaway here of OT. Texier not able to bury it. And now they have a breakaway the other way. Misses the net wide. 30 seconds left. And just like that, it is over. I don't know what to say. I did everything in my power to, to win us this game. Hit potentially the best score that we've scored this year. Nice little spin off far side snipe. I hit the, the sniper celebration to demoralize our teammates, to demoralize the opponents even further. And what happens? We head to the bench. We don't touch the ice for the last six minutes of the game. And we lose in overtime. Mind-blowing how this continues to happen. At this point, the Columbus Blue Jackets season can be dwindled down to poor coaching decisions. Will we have to make a decision to potentially leave this organization and head elsewhere? I don't know yet. But certainly things are not looking good here with this team. Another tough loss. Another OT loss. I just, I, I want to go and have a conversation with Coach about why he decided to make those plays plays in the last five minutes of the game you had a good thing going just keep the lines rolling and good things will happen and instead we're heading to the locker room with another l i don't know what to say boys it's another tough l i thought we were going to be hyped this episode we hit our celebration things were looking up and then at the end of the day we lose another close one. Good news is we're taking on the Flame next. They're one and two. We can win that game. Also, looking at the Metro standings, this isn't too bad as well. We are sitting in third place here with a one and two record. There's a lot of losses going on in the Metro, which also helps us out. Our goal today was to hit the celebration, and that we did. If you did enjoy Be a Pro here with Rostislav Nashrov, and you were hyped to finally see the Selly, hit that like button, hit subscribe. We're on the road to one milli, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.